Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 45 and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to make text and password fields in our form. So the text field we're going to handle first and obviously that is just um, a text box where the user could put in any information they wanted and uh, they'd be able to see the information that they're typing whereas if the user tried to fill in a password field uh, the password field actually makes bullet points uh, but basically these two fields are very similar or they're almost the same ex with the exception of a password field having those uh, bullet points hiding away the characters so let's take a look at how to uh, create one of these um, fields and to do that we're gonna create an element called input okay so this is actually a single tag element so we can go ahead and actually uh, close that off with our closing slash but this input element actually um, takes a few attributes okay and the first attribute is the type okay and the reason why we have to specify a type is because um, this attribute could be rendered as one of many elements okay so because we want this to be rendered as a text field we're gonna give this a type of text and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a few other attributes because there are a few attributes that we can um, uh, give to this input element so the first one is a name and this is actually required because whenever you want to send the data from this input element through to the server the server needs some way of identifying what information came from this element okay and the way it will do that is by looking at the name so if you want to give this a name then you could go ahead and give it a name of anything you want so I'm just gonna say uh, text field and uh, more than likely you would want to give this a name that actually means something so uh, let's say uh, you wanted the user to put in their name in this in input element so we could go ahead and say name just before here as a label and then that would be uh, prompting the user for their name then we might want to give this input an element of uh, name or uh, let's say we're asking for the username then we might give this a name of username so something that actually corresponds to uh, what we're expecting from the user okay so let's go ahead and run this in Firefox and take a look at what that looks like okay so here we're asking the user for a username and we have our text field appearing uh, next to this so if I went ahead and typed in my name then I could go ahead and do that and you can see that it appears uh, just fine okay but right now we can actually type in a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo and it'll just keep going so um, you can see that I did indeed fill in quite a lot of data there so let's say we wanted to give this a limit like the user could only fill in 30 characters or something well we can do that with an attribute so if I go back to uh, notepad over here I could go ahead and give this an attribute of max length and I could set that equal to uh, 10 and that means that I'd only be able to fill, fill in 10 characters so let's go back to uh, Firefox and click refresh and now when I try type over here let's try fill in more than one char more than 10 characters so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and then zero is our tenth character so watch what happens I'm typing but I can't put anything else into this um, input element so that is how the max length uh, attribute works and again uh, let's go back here and I could give this another attribute called value and value basically determines what the default value is going to be in uh, this uh, input element okay so let's say I give this a value of name 
then when I save this and go back to Firefox and click refresh well <laughs> I'm actually I have to rerun this entire thing because I've filled in that already don't I let's just do that <laughs> run in Firefox when the uh, form first loads okay the default value is going to be uh, the value that you placed into this value attribute and for the most part I don't think you really need that so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because there's no point <laughs> in using the value attribute because you want the user to actually fill in a value and the last value or the last attribute that I'm gonna speak to you guys about is called size so I'm gonna go ahead and open this or start this attribute off and basically what the size is is how long or how big do you want um, this little uh, string <laughs> how do I say this actual input to appear so um, right now it's at its default but let's say I wanted the size of this um, this okay well let's not make it a thousand <laughs> this input element to be 100 okay then that means it's going to be 100 characters long so not um, pixels or anything like that but actual characters as in characters that you can fit inside of um, this actual input element so let's go back and click refresh and as you can see now it is much bigger so that is a size of 100 and if you were to type 100 characters out you would find that they'd probably fit in that uh, size again if I made this um, something like 10 characters then it would be much smaller so let's go back and click refresh and now you can see it is quite a lot smaller so that would fit the 10 characters and if I go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 uh, that pretty much fits our 10 characters perfectly and you're probably thinking okay well we're seven minutes into the video and we still haven't touched on the password field and like I said the password field is pretty much exactly the same as the text field so we could go ahead and uh, duplicate this and I could say that I'm asking the user then for their password over here okay and they'd fill in their password but this password um, field can take all the same attributes so the name could be uh, password because you know obviously uh, the name has to be unique but max length could be the same size could be the same and actually you might want them to be the same so that they look the same the only difference that we have to then uh, change is the type which I'm gonna change this to password and um, what that's going to do is just make bullet points appear when I start typing so now that we've saved that let's go back over to Firefox and click refresh and now I've got my username over here where I could fill in a username so let's just say I filled in a username of Quinton I could then fill in a password and as soon as I fill in a password one two three four five six you can see that this appears as bullet points but other than that it will take all the same attributes or can use all the same attributes as a normal text field okay so that's all I have for you guys in this video and if you enjoyed it then don't forget to comment leave a like or <laughs> subscribe if this is the first time you watch one of my videos and I will see you guys next time